go. Carl Lewis jumped out of order and set a new Pan Am record of 28 eight and a half inches legal jump. And now he will anchor the relay, the four by 100 relay. Mel Rosen, the of Auburn, who's the U.S. head coach of the World Championships coming up in Rome, said if you expect to compete in Rome, you've got to compete here. We'll tell you how critical this is as you look at the world record. The United States set it at the L.A. Olympics and the U.S., of course, also has the Pan American Games record as well. Here are the Americans competing, and the leadoff will be Lee McRae, who was the winner of the 100 earlier this week. Replacing Mark Witherspoon, who you saw get hurt last week, will be Lee McNeil, who's a high school rival of McRae in North Carolina. 30-year-old veteran Harvey Glantz will be third. There is Lee McNeil, who is the replacement. McNeil replacing Witherspoon. Harvey Glantz, who is the veteran of the group, will handle the third leg. And, of course, Carl Lewis will be the anchor. Those to watch will be, besides the United States in lane number eight, Cuba in lane six, Jamaica in lane seven. And what's critical here, Craig Masback, of course, are the handoffs. How much time has the American team had to really get ready for this event? Not much at all, and that was for two reasons. Carl didn't get into town until Thursday, so they had their first practice on Thursday. And Lee McNeil is a replacement. He's got to both take the baton and hand it off. And baton handoffs are a lot like a marriage. you got to work at them. And these guys really <laughs> haven't had much of a chance to do that. But they're all experienced in their own right. How would you know that? <laughs> Here are the rest of the lanes. Antigua was scratched in lane four. And we'll be watching Jamaica in lane seven, Cuba in lane six, and the United States in lane eight. And by the way, Carl Lewis Lewis has anchored the three fastest relays in history. So uh, the Americans who have won 28 of 32 relays in all since the Pan American Games began, and won eight out of nine in this event. Cuba has finished second the most times. And Jamaica finished second on one occasion. Well, we've got a great situation. Here we see Lee McRae. He won the 100 meters. He's our leadoff man. That's an envi enviable position. And on the end, you want to have what track people call a killer, a pressure performer. Last year at the Goodwill Games, Carl got it about three or four meters behind and managed to overtake the Soviet team and win for the United States. When he puts on that USA uniform, especially in the relay, he always does something special. We'll be watching Cuba's Leandro Penalver, who will be running the second leg for Cuba, and Raymond Stewart, who, of course, is the anchor and outstanding sprinter for Jamaica. I think the Cubans have put Penalver second to try to put pressure on the U.S. team. The Cubans want to be ahead after the second leg. Lee McRae, a tremendous victory, first American to win the 100 meters in the Pan Am game since 1979. He's a great starter. He says he starts on the sound of the gun. The other guys start on the echo. 1950, I should say, and a fair start. Cuban lane six looking good starting out, and the Americans holding their own with Lee McRae. And the first handoff, McRae to Lee McNeil, the substitute here. It's an excellent handoff. handoff, and McNeil looks very, very good down the backstretch, but it's Penalva who's starting to close for the Cubans. Jamaica is in second, Cuba is in third right now, and on the handoff, here come the Cubans, and a fine handoff to the American, Harvey Glantz. Glantz good, looks good around the turn. He won the gold medal in 76 on the relay. And a handoff to Carl Lewis. Cuba now is challenging for the lead. It's Carl Lewis. Lewis of Cuba, Carl Lewis of the United States, and Andre Simon, and Lewis is going to win, and second place will go to Cuba. Jamaica finishes third, and a tremendous anchor run by Carl Lewis as the Americans again win the relay. And they were really challenged coming into that last 100 by the Cubans, Craig. They had made up a lot of the ground. The Cubans had a specific strategy here. They put Penalver, who's their best sprinter, on the second leg. In that way, as the Cubans were into the turn for the third leg, they were putting a lot of pressure on the American team. But Lewis did what he had to do. He took a baton, a safe baton handoff, and ran a great, great closing leg. And the time unofficially is 38.41 and four one-hundredths of a second away from the Pan American record. And a good time, though, indeed. America has traditionally owned relay competition. They say that the relays came originally from the Pony Express, and it's McRae that's off in very fine form up on the left of our screen there. He gets a very, very good run around the turn, and this is an excellent handoff to Lee McNeil. He runs very, very well down the backstretch. It's the second man who runs the furthest in relay competitions because he takes the baton at the beginning of the zone and handoffs it at the end. And look at Harvey Glantz around the turn. He's the great veteran 1976 Olympic champion in this event, but the Cubans started to close here. 
You see Carl, he changed hands as he took the baton, which slows him down a bit, but he's a great sprinter. And while Raymond Stewart in the yellow comes up on the Cuban, Carl runs away from both of them. It is a photo finish for second place in the silver medal here as Jamaica came up strong. Raymond Stewart closing in on Andre Simon of Cuba, but Carl Lewis, Harvey Glantz, Lee McNeil, and Lee McRae capture it, and this very well will be the American relay team uh, talking to people beforehand. They don't know whether Mark Witherspoon is going to be able to run in Rome, and I think Lee McNeil, who is a substitute a week ago, I would guess a very fine performance indeed. Meanwhile, Jaime Jefferson, who is second to Carl Lewis in the long jump, just fouled on his fourth jump. Lewis is leading right now as he's established the Pan American record in this event. Here's the photo for second place, Cuba and Jamaica, Craig. Well, Raymond Stewart came from way back for the Jamaicans. He's that great sprinter who finished second in the 100 meters. Hard to tell here who made it. And of course, Carl Lewis will be able to now relax when he goes back for his last two jumps in the long jumps. And of course, this relay could very well be the world championship effort in Rome coming up. The United States won the gold medal.